All right. What's up? What's up, Coalition? How y'all doing? How y'all living? We back with another first of the month update. I said I was going to do it, and I'm doing it. We, we out here. We out here. So before I jump right into it, let me introduce this segment in case it's your first one. This is where I give you updates on what I've been doing, what's come out, what's coming out, um, any general news, mindset things, whatever. This is a little wrap up moment, you know? But this is also where I want you in the comments below to let me know what have you been up to? What are you doing? Who are you? When are you? Why are you? Just let me know if you have projects going on. I want this, you know, to be a space where we can all collaborate, uh, anyone in my community, etc. Uh, I'm still really small, which is cool in a sense because I can really get to know all of y'all who just tap in with my channel, you know? Um, I know I've got to know quite a few of y'all in other mediums, but, you know, I know there's the YouTube folk here. You know, y'all been a little neglected, so please let me know what you've been up to. With all that being said, news on my end. So, the Cloudy Days and Milk Drinks music video dropped. Um, I made that video sometime in, I want to say like December or January. Uh, I really wanted to like make music videos or have music videos, but I didn't have anyone to do it. So I just figured that I can just do it myself. You know, I was like, forget about it. I got a phone, you know, I know how to use cap cut. I know how to, you know, a little color grading here and there. So then I just filmed it and now it's out. I got a lot of uh, creative shots, um, really kind of opened my mind and kind of forced creativity. I had a little topic the other day that I was talking to some folks about how limitations create um, creativity. And it's just, it couldn't be farther from the truth. I literally, I taped my phone to the ceiling and then shot stuff or put it on a fan and just hit it and then sat down. Like, I don't know, it was cool. It took up a long time though. So kudos to the video makers. So if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. Um, it's really dope, love that song. Speaking of music, uh, Fruit of the Loom Reps is finally out. That song is just, it's just, it's just so fun. It is so dope. Um, I do production challenges a lot. Uh, that was one I actually did last year. I think I started making it around this time last year because I got a, uh, I got gifted a cassette player that converts to MP3s. So I went to a random record shop, grabbed a whole bunch of cassettes and just listened to them, took certain parts and then threw them in granular synths to kind of create the soundscape of the whole track. So it was just like, I don't know, it was just like a little challenge I wanted to do to see what I can make. And I sat on the beat for a very long time, but it's cool because like after I sat on the beat, I was able to come back with a lot of the skills I learned, you know, going forward and kind of retrofit it uh, sonically so it can sound the way it sounds now. And that's kind of just been what I've been doing with a lot of the music that's been out. A lot of these songs that are coming out are, I can't say like super old, but some of them be pushing a year. I sit on the demo for a while and then, you know, I keep releasing and then uh, I go back when it's like, it's time for that song. And I do a lot of the things that I've learned um, either through, you know, looking up on YouTube, practicing, talking to other people, etc. So I think it's really cool. In the past, I used to release just, you know, shotgun it, just finish songs and put them in an album. And it was cool. But like, I'm kind of releasing this way has kind of helped me sit with understanding what like the final draft of my song is like, what, when is it done? You know, and sometimes, sometimes songs are done. Sometimes you sit on them and they're just done. But sometimes they're not done. So it's kind of like balancing with that, you know? Um, so yeah, check out Fruit of Loom Reps. That's a really long way for me to say check out Fruit of Loom Reps. Uh, it's really production forward. So I, I hope you like it. Um, outside of that, I had a show. I'm sure y'all, some of y'all have seen some clips. I'm still editing some clips to put on. I put the whole video on my YouTube as well. It's a show I did in uh, Fullerton. Uh, it was really cool. It was at a comic book shop. So it was really dope. There was like a cosplay contest too. So it was like a cool like crossover between like cosplay community, uh, like underground artist community. Uh, it was cool. It was some cool food. I had a, a lot of people show up for me, so I really appreciate every single person that showed up. I appreciate every single person that was rooting for me from afar, and I appreciate every single person who's thinking about me in some way. Even if you're, even if you're hating, I appreciate you because you're giving energy to my spirit, and I'm absorbing it and becoming the great Kawhi C. All right, but um, yeah, it was really dope. I have some cool uh, clips. Um, one thing I still struggle with sometimes is uh. 
I speak a lot from my throat and uh, I don't be rapping from my diaphragm. So I've been losing my voice. I did five songs like back to back. So I didn't do a rest. And even though I know I should have did a rest, but like I just didn't. Like I was just like, whatever. I want to do all these songs. But um, yeah, I need to do some vocal lessons or something. Uh, I know how to speak from my diaphragm, but rapping, I don't know why. It's just different for me. Uh, especially since I do a lot of intonations in my voice. So I know we're working on that because I'm not trying to lose my voice every single time. Cause like I already got the stage presence, you know, if I got my voice there and I can do a bunch of stuff, that's it. That's it. So yeah, but it was cool. Excited for the next. I should have another one coming up uh, sometime soon. I don't want to announce it too early before it, you know, it falls through or whatever. So stay tuned. Um, outside of that, I've been working a lot more in the YouTube content. So um, as y'all have been seeing, obviously I have this whole first of the month segment. Uh, another one, I went through my records. I went through my vinyls. Uh, not even my vinyls. I, I just went through all the physical media I had but that I picked up for that quarter. So I like a cassette, CD, uh, vinyl. I think I'm doing um, more of my collection and just talking about it. I have a, I don't have a crazy collection, but I have one. And a lot of it will maybe add context to you know, the type of music I make or what I just like or whatever. It's just a cool little parasocial moment for us to connect, you know, for us to connect. Me and you, you know, connect. So uh, there's that. Outside of that, I also have the yapping sessions. I did the first one where I spoke about streaming services. I was having a conversation with an artist the other day, and I was talking about why I don't just focus on Spotify. Like, I do put music on YouTube and SoundCloud and Bandcamp, and I really try to focus there because they're all different mediums and different, like, reasons why you have your art there, you know? Um, I know it's easy to get caught up in numbers. I'll probably do a video on that, like, sometime later, but, like, Having your music everywhere where people can get it is important. And then those different platforms serve different purposes for how people interact with the music and hear your music. And I think that's, that's important. Uh, if you want to know more about that, uh, I think I can make a little card thing pop up. Uh, if Hopefully I did it, but check my channel. It's just called Spotify is like overrated. I don't know. I, I'd be changing the title. I've been learning the thumbnail game. At the title of the game, you gotta change it sometimes. So outside of that, uh, my EP is pretty much done. Um, I'm releasing an EP. I know normally I do things like single, single, singles, and everything is out, and I do like doing that. But I also kind of like the concept of dropping music so people can actually take it in um, as a whole thing. There's like pros and cons to it, of course. And the other two songs I have that aren't gonna be released as singles are bangers. So it's kind of having me be like, oh. But I have so much music I want to do this year. Uh, that I kind of just want to get out there and then I don't know, I'll probably revise how to do things later. But yeah, so EP coming really soon. Our work is getting finished up uh, and our work is going to be uh, pretty dope. Uh, all the mixes are pretty much done. I seem to like tweak like two small little things and then it's ready. So y'all will definitely be hearing that real soon. But for now, listen to Cloudy Days of Milk Drinks and for the little reps. So. I believe that's all the updates on my end. Uh, oh, I started playing Guilty Gear. Personal update. Uh, fighting games, don't do it. They're so stressful. I'm finally getting like good enough to climb, but man, like I haven't mauled it like that since I played League, like way back in the day. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it on my end. Please let me know uh, what you're looking forward to. You know, maybe what you want to hear from me, what type of content you want me to do. Uh, maybe let me know what um, you're doing. Please let me know what you're doing. Uh, connect with each other in the comments. Uh, I know right now, like I said, I'm so small, so I usually get like one or two people, but that's chill. Like, it, it's cool. I, I get time to like actually interact with y'all, you know? And I've met some cool, cool people from this. So yeah, definitely um, tap in, tune in. Uh, but that's it on my end.